everyone, it's Margaret Manning here. Welcome to 60 and Me. This is the place where women over 60 come to be inspired. My guest today is Mel Kobayashi. Mel is a style blogger. She lives in Vancouver in Canada, and she has a very unique sense of style. And it's basically comedy and art and style all together. So welcome, Mel. Hi, welcome. Hi, it's, it's great. pleasure to be here. It's <laughs> great to have you here. You look fabulous today. Thank you so much. Thank, you know, I really am happy to talk with you because we have women in our community who I think I've mentioned before, have had, you know, years and years of practice just dressing to conform. And yes. a lot of them now are ready to try something a bit new with their fashion. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people will say, you know, I actually quite like black and white and gray. I mean, I'm a very simple, you know, in my style. How mm -hmm. would you respond to that as a sort of a foundation for a, maybe another way of looking at fashion? Those just black, gray, white. Oh, well, I think black is a powerful, powerful um, choice to go with your clothing. Um, if you couldn't do any other color, I think black and white and gray together will give you an infinite number of possibilities for expressing yourself from a really, really joyful to just like really cool, you know? So um, really executive, really androgynous, and I, I enjoy dressing androgynous in androgynous style quite a bit. What does and, that mean uh, to you, Mel, androgynous style? What does that well, mean? It means, I, I don't know if that's a politically correct term anymore or not. I'm, you know, I'm worried about using it, but it means dressing in a more traditionally manly looking style yeah. what, what men would traditionally wear a suit you know a jacket you know yeah. a white blouse underneath or mm -hmm. just you know the suit yeah. outfit. Do you know it's interesting you say that because when I think of androgynous it's a word that um, for me means both men and women it means it's something that where femininity uh, has a masculine side and then masculinity has a feminine side it seems like it's kind of okay. gender neutral so okay. that, to me that's yeah, a that's positive probably... word more, yeah. but for for me, it's a more uh, self-centric uh, definition where I right. don the clothing of the opposite gender of what I am. So yeah. I I like your definition better. Yeah. And and you, as you both. said, <laughs> I think uh, it's not just a suit. It's like jeans with something, but you you bring a, a swagger to it, the the opposite gender right. to it right you know, can say. I, you know when you look at you for example right now I mean you've got mm -hmm. white and gray on right now and it's and yes. it's very um subdued but it's got a, an elegance to it it's got like a power to it tell me yes. how you feel in that outfit right now oh I love this outfit <laughs> okay. here let me put this on okay here's how I feel part of it it's like ladies and gentlemen of the board we're here today to vote on my executive pay increase all those in favor say aye. aye. Oh, aye. <laughs> it takes control of the situation. You know, when you yes. did that, I just stopped everything. Like I really <laughs> paid attention to you. It. This is our thrifted Armani um, Armani Couture uh, yeah. suit jacket yeah. and a men's button-down top underneath. I love so it. So you can do a lot with that. Like I mean, like I mean, talk about uh, how a capsule wardrobe, like you've just described, a shirt, a jacket, and, and pants or skirt. How that, how versatile yes. that is. Well, shall I show you? Yes. Um, yes. I, <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is one look, and I can wear this with jeans, and there's matching trousers that go with this jacket. Mm -hmm. But that's one look with jeans. It's cool, and I have very pointy, long. They're actually men's shoes yeah. that I wear with it. That's quite striking. And usually I can't wear men's shoes because they're too wide, but I was yeah. lucky. Hang on. Now, I'll show you a different one. A capsule wardrobe is handy because some people like to go RVing, you know, they don't have much room, and you want to express tons of different looks with just a few pieces. So I'm going to um, make this a little bit different. This is a rock star look. I love this look. Wait, wait, I think you're a subliminal this. rock star. I think you've got this side to you that um, you've worked with rock stars, rock didn't star. you? You work with I did. Pops, yeah, I did. You've got, but them. I never met them. I was here. They were all over in Japan. <laughs> oh, I love the sleeve on that blouse too. That's really cool. All right, so we got a black. See, this is what black and white. That just looks so elegant, especially with your lipstick and that nice dark okay. lip. Yeah. I'm going to take this okay. shirt off, but okay. I'm going to leave it on for now. Okay. okay. My husband says, make sure you don't take your clothes off in front of the camera. Like, okay. Okay. Got this it. happens. Easy to happen. <laughs> all the time. All the time. Honey, all the time. Um, 
Well, that's enough. I think yeah. you can see it. This is my rock star look, and I will maybe wear something like this. I feel like I need some sunglasses to keep up with you here. Yeah, this is a good look. Hey, Margaret. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah. And you walk but you know, like this. this is what you're doing that I love, though, Mel, is that you're taking the clothes and you're creating a character. And don't we I all can. have like a gazillion characters within us? We have kernels of characters. We have bushels, bushel baskets full of characters. <laughs> and what you wear can bring those out in little increments. So this, you know, I'll walk a bit different when I wear this, you know. And I might not necessarily wear this white button down. I might wear a really ripped up white t-shirt, you know, with little holes in it. It's like, hi, I'm Mel. What are you going to do about it? You yeah. know, something yeah. like that. Right? It's almost like your oh, clothes so influence your attitude. They absolutely do. Yeah. And that's where I talk about if, if you're feeling dumped down in the dumps and you want to snap out of it, put something on. Yeah. Put, put it on and it's going to trigger that kernel in you and you're going you're gonna to be out of control. <laughs> and you know, I think what goes with that though, Mel, is the, is the willingness to, to step outside your comfort zone a little bit. And I think a lot of women in our community are ready for that. You know, we ask them sometimes, what are the three words that describe you as a person, as a style, you know, your style? Yeah. And a lot of them say bohemian. You know, and bohemian just really means, well, like you can define it, it's like whatever makes you get in character, you know? Well, it's, bohemian for me is like rambling. I'm, you're yeah. rambling, right? You're not as in rambling, rambling like I'm talking, but rambling as in traveling and yeah. going distances. Now, here's a different this jacket. This is great. <laughs> it's a different vibe altogether. And, you know, I can wear these with it. Seriously, I would, I would go out with these. I like them. Or I could wear something like this. This is cool. I'm imagining it's, what your desk it. looks like with all these these uh, different. How many yeah. pairs of glasses do you think you have? I have a lot. <laughs> yeah. And then these are yeah. tights, but if you put a little color here, it's yeah, cool, it's right? Perfect. But don't put your. I wouldn't wear my tights. You could my though. You I mean? It was, I could. I could. <laughs> you you could. <laughs> I could. But, and then let's say it's black and white, right? So all these things I've just shown you, you can wear them together. Yeah. I mean, you can mix and match them. No problem, but they're so different characters. And let's say you're bored of black and white, throw a few accessories in your wardrobe, yeah. right? Like this fabulous clutch bag. Sweet, nice. I love it. I think so, it would go nice with my top, actually. Could you just pass it through the. Yes. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's lovely. It's cool. And then I just have everything here for you. Well, what's, what's really, well, keep going. I was going to say, what's really nice yeah. about what you're showing is it's actually very minimalistic and very s simple, not, it's not very over minimal. the top. And um, I love this coat. That is really interesting. Where did you find that? My fairy thrift sister, Sue, gave me this coat. <laughs> it's a thrift yeah. coat. Oh, very pretty. Covered I like that thrift. lining. But um, it's great. You know, and you wear a gentil little beret on yeah, top when yeah. you walk around like this. It's fun, right? <laughs> you get attention. <laughs> no, but what's really cool, oh, that's nice when you put the collar up. Yeah, it's, it's cool, cool, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, really We're nice banging color. your I microphone a lot yeah, there. It's, it's, it's really hard, though, isn't it? With, you, with clothes, you want clothing. to wrap them. <laughs> I just get carried away, Margaret, though. I can't help myself. Well, that's, that's actually, it. I think, a good quality of clothing when it lets you escape your all the things that define you, all the things that you worry about. And it just says yes. to you, in your little heart of hearts, just go for it, you know, just yes. enjoy this moment. And right. if the clothing stimulates that kind of freedom, it's great. Well, it's like a little ticket to somewhere else. You yeah. Know, why, yeah. why schlep around with not... I have to not do that and schlep around with the masses because I'm a mass, you know, yeah, I'm we live part in the of world. That. Sure. Why not be your own unique self among all the other unique selves? Be the most unique self that you feel like being without yes. feeling constrained about it, you know? I think and that's um, really wonderful to give yourself permission to to be in the real world, like to, I mean, I know we watch some of the advanced style women who really do dress to such an extreme that you would really feel like people say like a bit of a clown that, you know, you're, you know, the big, uh, you know, excessive Doc Martin boots with striped socks. And, you know, I mean, maybe yeah. you would wear that, but it's just that you can, you can go down the middle too, and you can wear an outfit like in black and white and gray with a bit of like you showed red or flash of, of color. And that's totally unique too. Well, individual. If you if you 
add punches of color, people will forget you're wearing just black and white yeah. because it, it colors the whole outfit, right? You can change the whole nuance of the outfit with just a few simple, you know, things. Just one or two things. And this is my moto jacket. I don't know if you can see it. Is it, yeah, short? Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. I think that's one of the things that everybody always lists is you must have this in your wardrobe is a, uh, what did you call it? A motor jacket, a, a fitted, jacket. a fitted like leather. Motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah. This one's vinyl. So it was cheaper, but, yes. and I love it. I love so it. you, you actually shop a lot at thrift stores, don't you? And I do. And tell that's me what the last thing source. you bought was. What was your last purchase? Oh, yesterday. Shh, I got <laughs> a maxi dress. It's hideous. I sometimes like that. It's uh, It's got huge flowers on it. It's bold. It's bright, and it's like a got a drop waist down just before my knees. It's extra large, so it's not maybe necessarily supposed to be down there. <laughs> yes, but that's great. It just, I could just swan, you know, in yeah. that, and it, it's long enough that it's it feels really max. It's just. It's a fabulous piece. I actually yeah. interviewed uh, someone. I've forgotten her name now, and I should remember it. But um, she said that she loved Japanese clothing that was very big because yes. her body was free inside it. Yes. And I really like that image or that feeling of big clothing, but inside your body is naked or inside your body yes. is free. Yes. And I often will wear um, men's pants that are oversized or women's pants, mm -hmm. oversized clothing, mm -hmm. because it's billowy. And when you also, when you walk, it creates this lovely train behind you. Yes. It's like, yeah. you know, it, it's almost regal and uh, it, yes. it's, it's a joy. And if I didn't thrift shop, I would miss out on so many opportunities, yes. style opportunities, because if I were in a real store, I'd go to my size. That's my size and I'd put my size on. Oh yes, yeah. the fit is perfect. But when you're in a thrift store and you see a piece you love, you're going to play around a little bit more. Well, I'm going to play around with it a little bit more. I'll cross it over. I'll tie it. I'll, you know, yeah. I'll, I'll hoist it up with suspenders or, you know, <laughs> yeah. like, like you get these. Creative. I have these suspenders, right? Yeah. So it, it, it opens up a lot more venues I think you me. tend to shop in a thrift store, by, by, for me anyway, because I love it too, by color or by texture. And then you sort of say to yourself, whatever it is, I want it. I want that color. I'll make that work, yes. whatever. If it's a top, I'll, exactly. you know. And it's, it's different than, like you say, going to the size. Well, that's what you said. Corner. Make that work. Mm -hmm. I'll make that work. That, that, <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's what a, I do. i got to show you. We have a, a like a really, um, it's like a recycling center in my town. And people take their yes. plastic um, bottles and all their boxes and stuff. But they have um, a little shop that goes next to it. And I go in there every Saturday with my little goodies. And I found this necklace. Can you see it? Oh, my God. That's gorgeous. It's so cool. And it's totally plastic. And it's totally well, like, cares? it's just like. And it's it was, got diamonds all it was over it. Three you know? francs, which is about like two dollars. But this is the kind of thing I said. Whatever that looks, I saw the pearls and I saw this little, this little bit in the middle, and I thought that's great. I'll just wear it with something. <laughs> I'll it's it beautiful. Out. Yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, I. If it's a brand name, sometimes it's quality. Oh, yeah. You'll feel it, but sometimes you won't. Yes. And sometimes I'm seduced by the brand name, and I'll want to get something because it's a brand name, and invariably. I discard it if I bought it just for the brand name, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, so I'll, I'll go for anything if it's cool. Yeah. Well, you have inspired me and I think you've inspired everybody who's watching to try oh, you know, to use black, gray and white just as beautifully as any dark, you know, colors and extravagant textures. You can make a lot happen with that simplistic look. You Absolutely, you can. Yeah, yeah. It's fantastic it's fun. talking with you. Now, before we go there, I want to tell people yes. your your website is bagandaberay.blogspot.com. We'll have it below, yes. below us here so people can find okay. you. And okay, you, have another, you have another blog, though, don't you, as well? Another style blog, or is that the I only have one? A, I have a street style blog, but it's very irregularly updated okay. now. I used to update it more frequently. So, okay, bag it, and it's, all, it's all in the the header of my blog. Everything, all my online stuff, it's all in there. Fantastic. You can find me in. Well, yeah. thank you so much for sharing your inspiration with us, Mel. I really appreciate well, it. We'll talk thank, to you thank again. Thank you so much, Margaret. A joy to be here. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our 60 and Me YouTube channel and also visit our website. We are a strong and dynamic community of women over 60. We're challenging aging stereotypes and every day we share fascinating stories, interesting questions and great conversation.